Hey, hi guys, welcome back here. Um, this is a video. I'm just going to do a quick um, update on the virus, um, just uh, how how it's been, how I'm feeling with it, and I'll go through the spec again for MD that hasn't seen this or any of my other videos. If you haven't, if you like what you see in this video, please check out my other videos. I've got videos on this bike. There's videos on some of my other bikes, and um, there's going to be up and coming videos on a build that I'm going to be doing. Right, um, so this bike here, it's a Vitus Nucleus, it's a 27 VRS, it's a 2021 model, I got it from Chain Reaction Cycles and it cost me £699 at the time, I have had the bike for around about 5 or 6 months, and the price has now changed on the bike, so over the, I think it was about 3 weeks ago I noticed there's a price change on all the bikes, it's an increase on all Vitus bikes. This bike is now 749 and the likes of the VR1 is 599 as opposed to it was 549. So there's a £50 price increase in most of the bikes, but some of the bikes, the 29ers, have got a £100 increase. I don't know why, but that's the way it is, right? We'll go through the bike first and I'll tell you about all the upgrades I've done with the bike. Right, basically, it's a Shimano Dior um, gear set on it. Um, it's a 1x10, basically. One cog at the front. And it's got 10 in the back. And it's an 11 to 46 tooth cassette on the back. It's a 5120 derailleur, I think it's called. I think that's the number of it. And it's a clutch derailleur as well. Okay. It's just Shimano Dior crankset. Also as well, it's an actual Holotech bottom bracket. So it's already got a light bottom bracket on it as well. The forks. It's an X Suntour XCR32 air fork. It's got 120mm travel. And it's obviously 32mm stanchions on it. It's got lockout adjust. It's got your thing here, your valve here for your ear, your ear um, basically to change the, the air and that you've got in it. To. And also as well, it's got rebound adjust down the bottom. And it is also a 15 by 110 boost through axle, and it's Shimano, uh, it's in Suntour's patented through axle, quick release through axle on it for a boost. Nice setup. The wheels, obviously, because it's a 27, it's a 27.5 inch wheels. The front tyre is a 2.3 WTB Vigilante, the rear tyre is a 2.25. WTB Tail Boss. Um, the front one's really grippy, the back one's a fast rolling tyre. That's, that's the way it comes standard with those tyres. Also as well, the rims on it, it's WTB ST i30 rims it's on it, but it's um, a Phasm light to believe, I think it's Vitus's. yes it is, it's Vitus's own make of hubs it's on it. And as I say, the front hub is a boost, the back hub is just standard quick release. The finishing kit that was on it was a, is, a, is basically it's Harai, it's um, Vitus's own generic brand of stem, it's a 50mm stem that's on it and it's a nuke proof neutron handlebar which I think is a 740, it's either 740 or 760 but the medium size and the large size is 20mm longer or it's a large size and extra large size is 20mm longer, I'm not really sure. Also as well it's a 66.5 head angle on it and it's also a tapered head tube on the frame so it's a 66.5 head angle um, for your fork upgrades I have done, well, I am sorry, brakes as well the brakes is Tektro Ariga HD M290 hydraulic brakes as standard it came standard with a 180mm front rotor and a 160mm rear rotor um, the brakes are really good in it. I'll talk about things like that, what I think about that later on. The <clears throat> this here is, is an upgrade as, as well of what I've done, right? Upgrades that I've done in the bike. I fitted a dropper post on the bike. A Centauri Serata Pro dropper post. Satori Serata Pro dropper post. It's a 150mm. At the time when I bought it, it was £86, but I knew 
that the dropper post, the lever it came with was rubbish, so I changed the lever and it's a ZTTO dropper post lever that I have fitted, right? The dropper post was £86, the lever was £15, but it's like all things here now in my, my, the mountain bike world. This dropper post is now £110, so if you have to go and pay another £15 for a decent lever, it becomes £125. Is that still a good deal? For some people it might be, for some people it isn't. I personally would go and buy a brand X one from Chain Reaction Cycles at that kind of money. I think they're about 140 for a peace of mind and a guarantee that if anything goes wrong with it, it's easy enough to send back. It. Don't forget, this comes from China. So you try to deal with Chinese people if something goes wrong with this. It's not going to go down too well for you, is it? Um, other upgrades I've done. Pedals. DMR V8 pedals. Um, the pedals that came with the bike, don't get me wrong, you don't really need to change them. The pedals that came with the bike are actually quite decent, but a lot of people, it's the first upgrade they do. It's the first upgrade I done as well, actually, was fit the pedals. DMR V8, it's electric red, and it's got a good colour match for the bike. Also, as well, I changed the handlebar grips. It was Vitus's own generic brand, with a... They were lock-on as well, and they were quite comfy. There was no real reason to change them. The only reason I changed them was because I knew I could get these death grips, and I could end up getting the red collars for them. And um, basically, the death grips were seventeen ninety nine, and then I had to pay an extra nine pounds for these collars. The death grips come with collars, but they're black. They're black, so to get the coloured ones to match the bike, I had to pay an extra nine pounds, which that becomes about twenty seven pounds. So for that upgrade, the other upgrade um, I've done is. Uh, Basically, the wood guards, and um, they were only nine ninety nine from eBay for the, for the pair of them, and I think it's quite a good match for the bike because basically it matches the fork, it matches the wheels, matches the tyres, so quite a good match. The bomb, I think they were nine ninety nine. Um, what do I think about the bike? Well, I've had the bike as I say five six months. There's been absolutely no issues with this bike whatsoever. Um, it's I thought it was good value for money at the time when I bought it for six nine nine. Was it still good value at seven four nine? Yeah, probably is. What else are you going to buy? What else are you going to buy for seven four nine? Maybe a, a Marin San Quentin or something like that. That's not got as good a fork. There's bikes out there that's close to it now. So the price I see the prices have went up on the bikes. But then again, who's to say the prices haven't went up again in the, in the likes of your Marin San Quentins or your Giants or your Specialized or that? All those prices could be up as well on those bikes. Would I buy the bike again for 749? Yeah, I would. Yeah, I would. Knowing what I know, yeah, definitely. Um, there's another upgrade I've done as well, and that is the seat, the actual seat. It's a Cell Italia seat I've got on it. Um, it was £45 from Halfords. It was a nuke proof neutron seat that was on the bike. Really uncomfortable. Don't get me wrong, this seat isn't much better, but it is better, not by a great margin though. Um, would I pay the £45 again for that seat? No, no way, no way I would not pay that for that seat again, that's for sure. I would definitely buy a dropper post at £86 again, I would definitely buy the lever at £15 again, that's good upgrades. Um, the death grips, although they weren't needing to be changed, the grips that were on the bike, the death grips are, are, are far superior. They are far superior to the grips that were on the bike. Pedals, you didn't. I didn't really need to do that, but I done that. The bike overall, the brakes. I've seen some people changing the brakes and that, and some of the bikes, and I don't see any reason at all why I would need to change these brakes on this bike. There is one upgrade I might do on the brakes down the line, is that is I might change the actual rotors, and I might change the pads, not for a bigger size rotor just for a different rotor that will take like a center rotor, a center pad because it's resin pads that's in it and seemingly they don't last that long so I would I would probably do that upgrade I would change the rotors for um, rotors that could take a centered pad and change the pads that'll be the up but I wouldn't do that upgrade and thought it maybe needs new pads then I'll do that upgrade um, but overall the brakes are really good stop you in a dime um, I don't see any other reason why I would need to change them um, Climbing it's a very good bike for climbing. Um, I've been up some right good hills with it, and I've got a dodgy knee. I've got a really dodgy knee, and I've been up some really good hills in this bike. I hasn't even been in the first gear. And um, what I did find is, that 
I got to the brow of a hill, I, I mean like the really highest point of the hill, and I've got to sit down just now because of my knee to pedal. And I wasn't leaning too much over the front of the bike, and the front end was wanting to lift a bit. But the next week after that, I went up the same hill, and I did lean for, and the bike, the bike stayed solid. It didn't, it didn't lift that time. So I think it's the way you sit in the bike. Um, but climbing, yeah, no problem at all. The gear, gear changes smooth. Um, Chris, gear, gear, gear changes. As I say, I've not had any issues whatsoever with this bike. I couldn't recommend it highly enough to other people. Um, but yeah, that's and also another as well. Another wee upgrade I've done is the EDC light tool. Um, cracking little upgrade. Um, it costs about 36, 37 pounds 50 UK money, and it honestly it takes you about 10 minutes to fit it, if even that. Honestly, really good upgrade. Um, but that's the only thing I think I would probably change in this bike. Um, is the center discs and pads that's what I'd probably change in the bike if you were buying the bike brand new they do recommend get a dropper post as I say you don't really need to change the pedals you don't really need to change the grips the bike comes out of the box and it's ready to go and it's a good bike very good bike right that's, uh, that's all guys that's, that's just a wee update and where I am with it and how I feel about it after about six months of use and six months of um, ownership but yeah I can't fault the bike Please guys, see if you like this video, give us a like, if you like it, subscribe to my, to my channel and watch for other videos. Thanks very much guys, thanks, bye.